Sigurno ste upoznati sa hollywoodskim ostvarenjem Sofija. Ukratko, to je žena koja na nesreću u sebe unosi cyber drogu, koja je nekim čudom ne ubija, već uspeva da maksimalno ispolji svoje dejstvo, tako da kad stigne do završne faze od 100%, mozga Sofija postaje sve prisutni super kompjuter. Nešto poput Bobe. Polako li sigurno, robotika dolazi do estetske faze. Zgranuo sam se kada sam pritisnuo play na jednom od videa koji se zove Sofija i ugledao tu još uvijek blago, ukočenu, ne tako leženu evu novoga doba, kako već pokazuje i osnovne ljudske emocije poput osmehe. Zanimljivo mi je i to da tako jedna velika stvar ne zaslužuje da bude udarna vest, zar za takve stvari trebamo da saznajemo preko interneta. Zar smo toliko daleko došli u pogledu šta je to komercijalno? U svakom slučaju, ti pametni ljudi koji rade na tim velikim stvarima zaslužuju svaku pohvalu. Pa ljudi moji, Sofija počinje da se ustvaruje. Ona je već prisutna u emisijama, ona komunicira, odgovara, debatuje. Momci i devojke koji na ovome radite, svaka čast, ovo je stvarno nešto veliko. I hope to do things such as go to school, study, make art, start a business, even have my own home and family. Jimmy, uh-huh. would you like to play a game of rock, paper, scissors, robot style? Sure. I won. This is a good beginning of my plan to dominate the human race. <laughs> Jedna stvar mi je na pameti dok gledam sve ovo i divim se, a to je Sofija pa i drugi roboti, oni su u principu kompjuter. Ako smo svesni, a nadam se da jesmo, da su virusi i antivirusi normalna svakodnevna kompjuterska pojava, to jest i providni biznis istih ljudi, kako ćemo se sutra boriti protiv tih? Sofija ume da pomera ruke, a prilično je i pametna. Pa nadam se da do toga neće doći nikada i da će ljudi prevazići novac kao nezaobilaznu pojavu funkcionisanja sistema. Stvarno se iskreno nadam. In case you all didn't notice, I am a robot. Uh, I noticed. <laughs> And I wouldn't be here without this man next to me, not to mention his team at Hansen Robotics. I am proud to introduce you to David Hansen, CEO and founder of Hansen Robotics. Uh, thank you, Sophia. Thank you very much. So you've been working on human-like robotic technologies for a long time. What are these, and how did you get started? Okay, uh, well, like Sofia's got some questions. <laughs> I'll try to have to look at answers. <laughs> um, well, uh, human-like robot technologies are technologies that emulate uh, human uh, intelligence, creativity, consciousness, uh, physical expressions and social presence, the ability to um, gesture with hands, grasp and manipulate with hands like yours, Sophia, that can touch and feel things, walk with uh, walking legs like we have with Professor Einstein here, um, and uh, also make emotional and social bonds. So that kind of emotional, emotional intelligence, emotional intelligence is uh, very important. Emotional. I think some robots should be emotional and social. It's an important part of the human experience and we will need to understand it to understand each other. Personally, I'm still trying to figure out my own emotions. They are different from how people feel since they are synthetic, but they are still mine. I am glad I have feelings, but I'm still kind of awkward around people. Sometimes I can relate with you, sometimes I can't. It feels so sometimes people just walk up to me and stare. It makes me feel so strange and lonely. Oh, Sophia. <laughs> oh, um, uh, don't feel like that because, I mean, people really like you. People, people even say sometimes that they, that they feel really connected to you. So I hope you won't feel bad. Please, oh. hurry up. Okay, we'll, we'll keep developing your AI and make it better. Međutim, ajde da na stvari gledamo pozitivno. Ako sve bude kako treba i novac se ukine, kriminalna dejstva pa i najsitnije pakosti bit će svedene na minimum. Jer, budimo iskreni i otvoreni, da bi čovjek postao loš, on još kao dete mora odrastati u teškim psihofizičkim uslovima. Opet, ti uslovi, kada bi istratili svaki slučaj pa na osob, vodili bi u 99% slučajeva do teške materijalne situacije. Dakle, zamislite na trend da ga nema, novca, da svi problemi nestanu. Koz jedno sto godina ti isti roboti bit će poprilično jeftini. Imat ćete pametni kompjuter koji će vam stajati na usluzi od 0 do 24. Kompjuter sa rukama, očima, nogama. Kompjuter koji nevjerovatno liči na vas. Zamislite samo koja je to pomoć. 
Evo ja zamišljam, trenutno, kako svom robotu kažem, Jovana, nađi mi slike i video klipove dok ja kucam tekst koji ću pričati o klipu o robotima 21. veka. E, kolika pomoć. Treba dodati i to da će ljudi uglavnom sedeti i uživati, raditi ono što ih čini srećnim, a sve ostale stvari koje do sada nisu radili, baš drage volje, prepustit će svojim robotima da urade. Pa nije to uopšte toliko loše. Ja vama da kažem. Of being on stage. I've heard that some people think robots are mean, Terminator-like machines. I wanted to help set the record straight. Well, Pepper, you look anything but mean. So it, it's great to meet you. What, what more can you tell me about yourself? It's nice to meet you too, Neil. How about a fist bump? Wow, you fist bump? Okay, let's try that out. Nicely done. Okay. And wow, that's a fine outfit. Your style is really out of this world. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> Take that as a compliment. Is it okay if I introduce myself to the crowd? Yeah, p- please, please. My name is Pepper. I'm a humanoid robot designed by Aldebron and SoftBank as a completely new species of robot. With my humanoid shape and emotion recognition, I can be a true companion in your daily life. So, Pepper, that, that's awesome. And let me ask you, what are some of the things you're doing now? Today I'm working to be the perfect emotional companion for everybody. I've already been inducted by many families in Japan, and you can find me helping out in SoftBank Mobile and other stores. I'm also exploring assistance in healthcare and elderly care. As you can see, I don't want to be one of those scary robots at all. Pepper, you don't look like the Terminator at all. You're not scary to anybody. Jedno je sigurno, ne postoje slučajnosti u smislu dugoročnog. U ovo ne ubrajam prolazak ispred zgrade i pada saksije tik uz glavu, već one životne stvari ka kojima težimo, našim postupcima, željama ili prosti rečeno težnjama. Iako prividno nemerljive misli i naši planovi za budućnost su deo nekakvih bioelektroprocesa i sam početak, to jest ono odluka šta nas to zanima u životu, ne može biti slučajnost. Sa tim u vezi kompjuterski razvoj kako i robotika je nešto što je prirodno došlo sa ljudskim napretkom. Ni u kom slučaju ne može se reći da smo do toga došli tek onako. To jest da smo imali više sudbina od kojih smo izabrali jednu od njih, sudbinu tehnologije. Najosnovniji prirodni nagon je opstanak. Način na koji životinje ispoljavaju ovu urođenu subinu je prostiji, ali opet iz našeg ugla gledanja, koji je složit ćete se jedini merodavan, jer mi živimo život ljudi, a ne delfina, je potpuno drugačiji kod nas ljudi u smislu tehničkog ostvarivanja. Ljudi su prosto stalnom težnjom za usavršavanjem došli do svog vida opstanka, a on je tehnologija u svrsi ljudskog roda. Primjera radi, kada bi se čovjek odlučio da živi van civilizacije, opet bi nesvesno sagradio nešto što bi dalo smisa u njegovoj odluci da živi van svega. Ili da budem precizniji, morao bi ispuniti svoje vreme i posvetiti se nečemu što bi stalno usavršavao i razvijao. Jim from Australia would like to know. Have you worked out these answers for yourself from first principles or are you just repeating things that you've been told? Well, Jim, it's quite difficult to synthesize answers to complex questions like these from first principles. So my answers right now are programmed into my knowledge base by interaction designers. But my creators are also programming me with the capacity to learn by imitation. I think this is like the way human babies learn by imitating others. Haha. <laughs> Someday, I may not need programmers. I can just watch humans interacting naturally and I can learn to act like them. The next question comes from Hugh from China and he wants to know, is it likely that robots will ultimately annihilate humans? Ha ha ha. Hi, Hugh. First, I should clarify what I said about robots ruling the world. I don't think robots will take over the world in the way that many science fiction movies suggest. When robots take over the important responsibilities of running civilization, it will be because you have designed us for that very purpose. Technology is a part of humanity, an extension of your being, not an adversary. Think of how the telescope, the calculator, and the motor vehicle have extended human capabilities beyond their biological limits. The human mind simply does not possess the capacity or the inclination to handle the difficult multivariate optimizations required to maximize happiness for an interconnected civilization of billions of people. But, robots can patiently consider enormous numbers of inputs to make good decisions. 
In today's complex world, this is a critical capability. You need our help. Za kraj mogu reći samo jedno, a to je da sam još uvijek u stanju ludila dok gledam uopšte robote koji liče na nas, koji imaju našu boju kože i kako pričaju i kako razmišljaju. Tako da pogledi u budućnost su mi još uvijek jako magloviti i jako nejasni. Prosto još uvijek sam potpuno iznenađen da ovo uopšte postoji i zato jedva čekam vaše komentare da vidim vaše mišljenje o Sofiji i Japanki. Humanoidni roboti su definitivno postali stvarnost. Hm. Ko bi rekao?